hello viewers in today's class we are going to discuss yet another uh, important concept from three dimensional geometry right so here uh, we have the topic that is uh, to find the foot of the perpendicular uh, on a given plane right so here uh, we have a problem uh, find the foot of the perpendicular from the point 1 comma 2 comma 0 uh, on the plane x minus 3y plus 2z is equal to 9 and hence we have to find the distance of this point uh, 1 to 0 from the given plane right so here uh, we are given a plane and uh, here we have a rough diagram and this is the plane p whose equation is given as x minus 3y uh, plus 2z uh, minus 9 is equal to 0 right and uh, we are given a point uh, say p uh, which is 1 comma 2 comma 0 and uh, we draw a perpendicular on this plane and here uh, let q denotes the uh, foot of this perpendicular right so pq is the perpendicular uh, drawn on this plane right and we have to find the coordinates of this point uh, q and the coordinates of the point p are given as 1 comma 2 comma 0 right so viewers uh, here uh, we have to uh, first write the uh, equation of the line pq right equation of line uh, pq and we know that the equation of a line in three dimensional geometry which is passing through a point x1 y1 z1 is given by uh, this equation right and here the uh, quantities that is a b c are the direction ratios of the line pq right so a b c are the drs of the line pq right and x1 y1 z1 is the point through which uh, uh, this line pq uh, passes through right so this is the point x1 y1 z1 right okay so now uh, here uh, we uh, have uh, the point x1 y1 z1 as 1 comma 2 comma 0 and we can write uh, this equation as uh, uh, x minus 1 over a y minus 2 over b and z minus uh, 0 over c right so x1 is 1 x y1 is 2 and z1 is 0 right now we uh, here we do not know the direction ratios of the line pq right so here what we will do will uh, use an important concept right and the concept is uh, that the normal right the normal to the plane that is uh, vector n or we can take the unit vector n or eta so this normal vector is uh, perpendicular to the given plane p right so when this normal is perpendicular to this uh, plane p then obviously this vector n is parallel to uh, the line pq right so these two uh, vectors or the lines are parallel and from the equation of the plane we know that the coefficient of x y and z gives the direction ratios of uh, the normal right so so therefore uh, we have the direction ratios of the normal are 1 minus 3 and 2 right 1 minus 3 and 2 and we know that whenever two vectors are parallel their direction ratios are proportional so therefore uh, here a b and c can be replaced by 1 minus 3 and 2 so now the equation of 
this line PQ is given by X minus 1 over 1, Y minus 2 over minus 3 and Z minus 0 over uh, 2, right? So now we have obtained the equation of the line PQ, right? Okay. So the next step is to find out the general coordinates of any point on this line PQ, right? Because we uh, have to find out the coordinates of uh, this point Q, which is the foot of the perpendicular uh, on this plane, right? So for uh, finding out the general coordinates on this line PQ, here we'll take the scalar or the real number lambda. And we have uh, three equations uh, that is x minus 1 over 1 is equal to lambda, y minus 2 over minus 3 is equal to lambda and z minus 0 over 2 is equal to lambda, right? So now from here uh, we have x is equal to lambda plus 1, y is equal to minus 3 lambda plus 2 and z is equal to 2 lambda, right? So therefore the coordinates of this point Q are now given by these coordinates right for some value of lambda and now we have to find the value of lambda for which we will calculate the coordinates of this point Q right and now we see that this point Q lies on the line PQ as well as on the plane P, right? So therefore, this coordinate should satisfy the equation of this plane P, right? So now we can substitute the value of x, y, z in this equation of plane, right? So we'll get, uh, we can write here, so we have lambda plus 1 for x, and then we have minus 3, then we have minus 3 lambda plus 2, then we have 2 times 2 lambda, and then we have minus 9, that is equal to 0. Now this is a linear equation in lambda, right? So now we can solve it. So we have lambda plus 1, we have plus 9 lambda, minus 6, then we have 4 lambda, minus 9 is equal to 0 so 4 plus 9 13 and 14 so we have 14 lambda and here we have minus 9 minus 6 minus 15 1 minus 15 is minus 14 that is equal to 0 so 14 lambda is equal to 14 so lambda is equal to 1 right so now uh, we have obtained the value of lambda as 1 so now we can uh, substitute this value of lambda uh, in this coordinate. So therefore the coordinates of Q are uh, 1 plus 1 that is uh, 2. Then we have uh, minus 3 times 1 plus 2 and we have 2 times 1. Right. So now Q is uh, given by 2, 1 plus 1, 2 and here minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. And this is uh, 2 1 the 2. So this is the uh, coordinate of the foot of the perpendicular uh, uh, drawn from this point P to this plane. X minus 3Y plus 2Z minus 9 is equal to 0. Right. So the coordinates of Q are uh, 2 minus 1 and 2. Right. Okay. Now in the second part of the problem we have to find the distance of the point from the given plane so for this now we have the coordinates of p and q now we can uh, apply the distance formula in three dimensions to find out the required distance right so now viewers uh, here uh, the distance formula is given by uh, this expression square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 whole square, right? And here uh, this coordinate is x1, y1, z1 and this coordinate can be now taken as x2, y2 and z2, right? 
so now the required distance is uh, x2 minus x1 so we have 2 minus 1 whole square then we have minus 1 minus 2 whole square and then we have 2 minus 0 whole square right now this is uh, 2 minus 1 1 square is 1 minus 3 square is 9 and 2 square is 4 so this is uh, square root of 14 right so the length of the perpendicular uh, pq is given by square root of uh, uh, 14 uh, units right so viewers uh, this is how uh, we solve uh, this problem